Mom, you're not listening. Do you want to live alone? Lisa, I'm not ready to live in a place like that. And the people are too old. Some of them are younger than you are. I don't want to take care of you, so I, I don't do want you to take care of me. I can take care of myself. I don't want to talk about this, Lisa. Mom, will you please just think about it, please? You know, I'd really feel better if I knew there were people around you. You're being selfish. I mean, I, I have to I worry about you. You are the one who's being selfish. I'm supposed to just pack up and stop living because oh, you don't on. want to worry. Don't be dramatic. You're not going to stop living. You might make me friends. No, oh, that's old ladies. Well, there were spots doing exercise in the pool. That's not my idea of friends. Mom, they shop. They have cars. Do you want to live alone the rest of your life? I can't talk to you about this anymore tonight. Please. Okay. i got to go. Yeah, me too. Love you. We all know it can be difficult when family and friends don't approve of who you love. If you have any thoughts on this topic, please shoot us an email and we will discuss it on the air. Do you want to live alone? On our next show, we'll talk about when not only family and friends disapprove of your love, but when society judges your choices. This next song is brand new from String Planet, right here on KYZT 94.7 FM. You know, I'd marry you all over again. Come here. Oh, Marty. It was 41 years ago when the U.S. Supreme Court legalized interracial marriage. The case involved Mildred Loving, a black woman, and Richard Loving, a white man. The couple had been married five weeks in 1958 when a sheriff and two deputies arrested them in their Virginia bedroom. We may have a long way to go when it comes to race, but stories like this suggest we have come a long way since the night the Lovings were arrested for simply loving one another. You know, I think this long distance relationship really works. <laughs> I never felt like this with anyone. It sure works for me. Recently, PBS has pulled an episode of the children's show Postcards from Buster that include children with lesbian mothers. The episode was yanked the same day that PBS received a letter from Secretary of Education Margaret Spellings condemning the episode and asking PBS to strongly consider returning the federal money that went toward its production. Spellings explained in her letter Many parents would not want their young children exposed to the lifestyles portrayed in this episode. WGBH, the Boston PBS affiliate station that produced the program, still plans to air the pulled episode and make it available to other stations, but without PBS or Department of Education support. Take off your sunglasses. Why? I want to see you. You've seen me. I love you. I love you. Ninety four point seven FM. This is Nancy Kern. I'd like to thank our listeners for joining us this evening. Tonight we'll close with a question that Ralph Waldo Emerson posed. We are very near to greatness. One step, and we are safe. 
Can we not take the leap? Finally, I want to make my own choices. Always I made choices to please someone else. My mother, my father. I guess I was afraid of losing their love. Or afraid of their disappointment. Living with acceptable choices ruined my life, really. At least shortchanged my happiness. Had I had the courage to live the way I wanted, I would have been happier. And that foundation of happiness would have affected everyone and everything in my life. The absurdity of it all. We surrender our truth to please someone who surrendered their truth. So few of us are really living authentic lives. We're victims of our own lies and we're angry so we take it out on others. The most peaceful and actually the least selfish route is to make the most honest choice for ourselves. Wasn't it Gandhi who said, each one has to find his peace from within and peace to be real must be unaffected by outside circumstances. Mm -hmm.